whispering is the truth. Nothing more. So hi, welcome back to the page, fam. I'm Lita, and I read cards. Um, it is a news day, so I want to say happy news day to everybody. Um, I think I'm going to do a relationship spread. It's a quick spread. Um, it's like, um, where is the relationship now? Where is it in the near future? And then where is it going in the distant future? I think that's the way it goes. Um, I, I also wanted to say that I did get all the new video requests. I will be working on those. Okay, guys. Um, so I'll probably work on them this weekend. I got time to do them this weekend. So it'll probably happen this weekend. Um, I, I was intending to do a Latin video today as well. Um, Memento Mori. Cause I know everyone is really into this Memento Mori thing now. I know I see it. I see the decks. I see people saying it a lot now. So I was thinking about doing that. And a circa. I wanted to do a read on the word circa. Um, you know, and it's real origin. So, just trying to give you a little heads up on what may be coming. But seeing as it's for news day, we are going to get a love reading in. I was going back through the um, request. And I thought for sure that someone had requested a sex some a sexual type read and i can't find the comment if it was you comment on this video um or if you've commented a, t a topic that you wanted and i've never responded or even if i responded and i didn't do it just go ahead and drop it in this video because youtube hasn't been notifying me of uh my um comments and i was going through comments this morning and i saw one actually from my girl geechee sears she's a wonderful reader you guys check her channel out i um mentioned her down in the bottom if you haven't checked her out already so you can check her check her out but she had sent me this really good fucking comment and i never even got a goddamn notification that the comment was there and it was like what at any rate if you have a topic request drop it down below so i can do it okay i don't know what cards i'm going to read but i think i'm going to pull out uh my personal favorite and just work with it today okay which is the um spellcaster's tarot so i think it's i'm either gonna pull that out or vice versa but vice versa it's, that's a complicated ass deck you know and he'd be saying a lot of shit i don't always catch when i'm recording a quick video that's why i don't use it often so, um, all right, I'm done talking. Let's wrap it up and get started. All right, so <clears throat> these are going to be your choices. And I'm just going to actually deal as we um do your group because I don't want to keep anybody from having any card that they could possibly have. I want to take a shot with you guys. I'm also going to pour one for... Venus. Uh, we're going to do some Kettle One Grapefruit and Rose. And here's your choices. You got Pink Lemonade. You got Pink Punch Lemonade. You got Juicy Fruity and Kiwi Berry. All right. And I want you to just think about your person. Right. The relationship. It could be a friendship. It could be a crush. It doesn't have to be like a full on, full blown relationship because i get it right now people just really ain't in relationships i'm gonna put um venusa's shot right here until i can uh, move it to the altar let me take my shot real quick mm. it was sweet i chase it with some water all right I want to thank everyone that has subscribed to the channel thus far. You guys are the GOATS. Um, if you find yourself watching the video and you haven't subscribed as of yet, I ask the same question every video. Why the fuck not? Why the fuck not? It's fun, it's free, and we get in facts, okay? So, my kids are in here. I, I don't even know what they're laughing at. But I keep trying to tell them, be quiet. It's kind of fucking rude. But 
They might be rude because I raised them. Everything is funny. You know, everything is a joke. We're always joking in this household. And when I need them to be serious, they don't know how to be serious. So, whatever. Okay. So, where is this relationship going? If you chose one, let's get into your group right now. Okay. So, I do see that you're the relationship type. But you have a lot of walls up. Very guarded. Um, but you actually want someone to nurture. Um, but I don't know. I feel like relationships may cause you a little anxiety. Okay. I don't know much about the person that you're dealing with. Yet, I'm not hearing anything. So, let's just get into it. Where is this relationship going? Where is the positioning? Now, I don't read reversals. Um, if it's your first time here, I don't read reversals. Um, the near future of the relationship and the distant future. Okay. And I am going to look at the bottom today for overall energy. We have the three of swords. Okay. So, um, possibly I had you in an anxious position. Um, and on the defense, I actually had two nines um, as I was shuffling. So I feel like uh, this relationship is moving into a new um, era than what it was before. Um, yeah, some somebody fucked up. Period. Somebody fucked up. Okay. So where's the relationship now? Yeah. Okay. So we have eight of swords. Um, you two may not be in contact with each other. You may not be seeing each other. You may be trying to stay away from each other. Okay. Um, I feel like one person feels like they were kind of like the offering or the sacrifice. Okay. I say that because I have a bull here and it's burning the burning bull. I kind of feel like, um, one of you feels like the other party is just out for self. Okay, and what they can get, and you know, you're just like an idol, you're just something that they like, they look at, they but they're not really putting their real energy into it. Okay, where is it going in the near future? Okay, so we have the three of wands. All right, um, I think that there is some work that is going on between um, the two of you. But in particular, I really see you freeing yourself. I really feel like um, imagery wise, I feel like this is you freeing yourself from this connection. But let's look at the distant future and that could help me a little more. Yeah, and we're right back to the original energy. Okay, this is what I see happening. There's been some form of betrayal in this relationship, okay? And um, you two are not in contact right now, okay? Purposefully, okay? Uh, one of you has decided, or if not both of you, because it could be both of you, have decided you're not going to move further right now, okay? Everything is on ice, but you're in the middle of the burning house, okay? Um, so shit is still ablaze. It's still kind of new. The betrayal is kind of new, okay? But it's kind of like, I'm not doing anything else right now. I'm just going to rest and let this shit run its course, okay? And then um, you free yourself. And they try to come back. I see that now. They try to come back. But um, it looks like you find yourself either nurturing yourself or if you have children or pets, um, focusing on them and focusing on your money. Um, it's like you're not really focused on this person in the relationship anymore. This is more so about you now. Um, and you do find loyalty, whether it's loyalty in a friend or a new lover or your children or, you know, siblings or something like that. You do find some loyalty, but you're keeping it in house. You know, you're keeping your love and emotion uh, to your own personal circle. OK, uh, friend and family circle. All right. So that's what's going on with this relationship. I hope you enjoyed this reading group one. If you did, please leave me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment down below. Good and or bad. And we're going to move right on into group two, which is going to be Pink Punch Lemonade. All right. All right. So how you doing, Pink Punch group? Um, let's see. Not really. 
I'm not really feeling anything off with it as I'm shuffling. This relationship might have gotten off to a slow start. It's a little unorganized. But let's just get into it. Where is this relationship going? Where is the relationship now? Where will it be in the near future? And where will it be in the distant future? And let me see the overall energy. Damn, three of swords again. I don't, let me look underneath it, see if it's. Okay, I think that the three of swords in this one has to do with the time. I feel like you've been liking this person for forever, okay? And I, it seems like maybe it just hasn't really moved. Or it just didn't turn out the way that you wanted it to. It doesn't seem so much like selfishness, three of swords, but I don't know for certain. So let's get into the now. Hmm. Let me look at the near future and the distant future. Okay, it is selfishness. Currently, one of you is doing more giving than the other, okay? And... I feel like this person that you're with is actually a player. Uh, I feel like uh, because the snake is shedding its skin in this card, uh, I feel like um, they're presenting themselves to you in one way. Um, and when they're not around you, it's like they're shedding that skin and they're like showing off for somebody else. And I feel like that energy continues on in the future because this person is just about winning. Um, it's just about their ego. You know, it's like um, they know it will hurt you because there's the three of swords there. OK, they know what they're doing will hurt you. OK, but it's like they can't seem to stop themselves. They can't really see the truth of their actions because they just do what fuels them. They, they just do what makes them feel like a winner. OK, and, and there's even more of that in this magician card right here for the near future. It's like this this person needs to feel like they're big shit. And even though I said they're not giving to the connection, what you're giving to the connection, they are definitely giving to a whole lot of people. Then that's why you're not getting what you should be getting from the connection, right? This person is selfish. Um, I do feel like they, they, yeah, they definitely have like some really strong emotions towards you. Um, and I, I would even venture to say uh, it's something on the verge of love. And I'm only saying on the verge of because it's really selfish. Um, but they do have real emotions for you. Um, you know, you you are it above the others. You're more worthy, but it's almost like you're worthy. And so you're not getting it. I don't know if that makes sense. It's like, um, you know, when a guy tells you or a woman tells you, you're too good for me. You know, I don't deserve you. They are really telling you how they really feel. Sometimes it's because they're insecure. And sometimes it's because they just don't feel like they can do what you need them to do. And they know themselves better than you do. Right. And, um. So a lot of times they get out and they entertain others that they feel like they can keep up with if they don't think they can keep up with you. And I kind of get this feeling from this person. They're actually kind of the loser and they know it. But they're going to win at all costs. Okay, so they're going to have someone else. So when you leave, that's not something that they have to feel and experience okay that's what it is all right so if you enjoyed that reading group too please leave me a thumbs up feel free to comment down below good and or bad and we're going to move right on into group number three which is going to be the juicy fruity okay all right juicy fruity crew so you have this relationship this is a happy relationship okay the energy of this relationship seems to be very bright very warm very cheerful um it seems that way but that could be what it was or what it's heading to i think it's heading there 
think there may be a little issue of jealousy within the group. I think one of you is really attractive. Yeah. Your your partner is a little jealous or or you're a little jealous. It seems like they're attractive or you're attractive. One of you is extremely attractive is what I'm trying to say. And um, you get a lot of attention and that shine makes them a little nervous. Okay, but let's just get into it. So where is this relationship now? Where is the relationship going in the near future? Where is the relationship going in the distant future? And what's the up? Oh, here we go. Overall energy, right? So we had the Three of Cups, okay? The Three of Cups is a very jovial card, okay? It's about happiness, camaraderie, group, friend, friend circles, friend groups, okay? Um, associations, okay? But sometimes um it has to do with being more than just the two of you in the relationship not always but sometimes so let's see where is this relationship currently so we have the nine of pentacles all right so you two are not in a committed relationship as of yet okay and it's like um you kind of have everything going on for you in life it's like um you have a nice house you have um you know money or some sort of stability you have nice things um but there's something missing you know there's a partner missing that's what leads me to believe you're not in a committed relationship as of yet okay where is it going in the near future okay so we have hey man yeah this relationship is taking a long time um Hold on. I'm, I want to see why is this person not moving for, forward. Okay, so the person that you're involved with is actually just a slow-moving person. Um, They're not very sure of their steps <coughs> because they've heard something about you. They've heard something about you and they're not quite sure... Should they move forward in this relationship? Okay, so they're moving kind of slow, even though you kind of got it all. You, you're you kind of it, and it's just keeping them bound from moving forward at the present mo moment. Okay, now let's see the distant future. But in the distant future, the sun uh, actually came back out. I saw it when I was shuffling. So it's like um things work out, you know. Um, things get hot and heavy. Um, we have two children here in the picture. So, um, there's the potential of building a family together. But I think, um, more importantly, what it's saying is, is that you two will come together. This will be a creative union. When two people come together and they actually fall in love, the love actually stands, pardon me about that interruption. The love actually stands as a third introduction a third entity, a third living entity. So uh, I just feel like you two will come together and create this loving life together at some point. Okay. Um, yeah, that's all I see. It does work out in the end. It's a very slow moving though. Okay. And I would be careful of your friend circle. Yeah, because I feel like there. Okay. So there's either older brother um an older male friend an ex that may also be in the friend group um it could even be a father an uncle or something like that um but somebody said something something big about you okay because they kind of don't want you two being together as a couple okay so you might want to ask if they've heard anything all right so i hope you enjoyed that reading group three if you did please leave me a thumbs up feel free to comment down below good and or bad and let's get into our fourth and final group which is going to be the kiwi berries okay all right kiwi berry group so i need you to think about your partner all right I see somebody might be getting hot and heavy in this group, but I don't think you two are well matched. Not right now. One of you is in brand new energy. The other one is in established regal energy. 
yeah there may have been split up in this relationship and it may be coming back but let's wait until we deal the cards for sure to see okay um where is this relationship at now um where will it be in the near future where will the relationship be in the distant future yeah five of cups so this is a relationship that has had an ending to the cycle there has been a breakup, a split of some sort. Currently, you two are just trying to uh, be nice to each other. Be cordial. Balance the scales. Get the energy back to where it used to be. Um, and somebody in particular is trying to prove that they can do more than they did before. They didn't do enough before. And they're trying to do enough now. Okay? So, in the near future... I see you two actually working a lot, okay? Um, and I actually see you two working to save up to possibly move in together. Um, build a family. Build build something together, okay? Um, I also think you two might be taking a trip. It, it seems like you two may be saving money. This is my rainy day card. Um, and you can see all the money that they have uh, saved in here. And it makes me think sometimes people are saving money to take a trip together. Uh, maybe you two are trying to save money to take a trip once, you know, all the restrictions are lifted and things. So you can get a little closer. Um, in the distant future, I see, okay, now this is interesting. I need to clarify because I kind of feel like, and I'm going to get two different options for this because I feel like this really does go two different ways. Either this relationship will finally reach a total ending or what it is, is, is that you'll see the fairness come through and they'll leave someone else alone that they have carried into this relationship with you. But let's see, please clarify with two different cards for two. Two different scenarios why is justice here for group one why is justice here for group two exactly okay so see your your hooded man twice right okay for some of you there will be a decision made okay and there will be a decision made to come forward and do what they need to do for others of you, they will leave. They will walk away and they will focus, you know, on bettering themselves. And you can focus on you, basically. All right. But for some of you, they find the balance in the relationship and everything gets together. And for others of you, they leave so that you can find the balance. This is a balance card. This is a balance card. And this is a balance card. Okay. So three out of six cards on the table are about balance. There is an issue of balance in this relationship. Okay. So, um, you know, I don't know if it's you or if it's them, but be mindful of balance. You do not want to give more to a person than they're giving back to you. Because in the end, you do get hurt. It's not like, um, well, I did right and they didn't. And so that's on them. Like, that's part of it. But the other part is, is that when you give too much and you don't get back what you need, you're at a loss. And then it's kind of like you're at a loss because of yourself. Okay. And you want to be very careful of that. All right. So pay attention to the balance between the two of you. Don't give more than the other person is giving. Period. Okay. All right. And that's what's going on with this relationship. So I hope you enjoyed this reading. Um, group four, if you did, please leave me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment down below, good and or bad. And that is going to conclude today's reading. I hope everyone enjoyed this reading. I hope everyone has a wonderful Venus Day and a wonderful weekend. And I'll see you all in the next video. Love you. Bye. Thank you so much for coming by, Swans. I hope you have a wonderful week, and I'll see you in the next